You're not just working for yourself, you're working with a brand and everyone was just so welcoming and so nice. And that's really honestly like what pushed us. You wanna work for people that you like and that value what you value. And that really was amazing for us. Welcome back to Kim Daily TV. Today, I have a special guest. She is a new franchisee to a very well-established brand. Her name is Bethany Fox. She's here in New England, right near the Daily Coach. And she's going to share her experiences as a new British swim school franchisee. Bethany, welcome to Kim Daily TV. Thank you. I am so happy to have you here today. Before we hit record, she and I started talking a little bit about her amazing experience working with one of my colleagues. We'll give a little shout out to Joe White, the amazing, crazy Canadian that is Joe White. He is another franchise consultant, and he helped Bethany and her husband find their dream, find their future in a business called British Swim School. Like, so Bethany, tell the viewers of Kim Daily TV a little bit about your journey to what led you to saying, we need a franchise. Yeah, sure. Um, my husband and I, we uh, have worked in corporate America for, it seems like a million years. Um, and we've always wanted to kind of branch out on our own. Um, we enjoy working together. And we started a family uh, back in 2020, right before COVID hit. And um, I feel like COVID kind of pushed us into the direction that we needed. We didn't have childcare. We needed to go back to work. And so it really just helped us kind of make that decision of having the ability to do something for ourselves and not be on, you know, someone else's time clock. Um, so it really just kind of you know, guided us. It helped us to f kind of like jump and make that decision to move over. Isn't it funny how sometimes the obstacles in life create the greatest opportunity? So mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all out there captured what she just said, but not only did she become a mom since the pandemic, and now it's 2022 when we're recording this, but she also started a business. But the other little piece of information is she had another baby. <laughs> This woman, she has one of the fastest starts in the history of her franchise. She's had two kids in like less than two years and she started a franchise. So there's that. Yeah, it's been a <laughs> crazy ride. Woman Bethany has joined <laughs> Kim Daily TV today. So, okay. So now to you, your background, you had mentioned you were in HR, correct? Correct. Yep. So, um... I was in sales uh, going through school, and then I just fell in love with the HR background. Um, I've worked for a million different companies. Um, and being in HR, again, it just kind of gave me the viewpoint of what I wanted and what I wanted to uh, do for other people. I wanted to not just work for a company, but also work for the employees. I mean, a lot of companies in corporate America, you work for the employer. You're not really working for the employees. Um, and I view that you aren't really your employer without the people below you. And I have always felt that. I've always wanted that. So being able to come into a franchise where I'm the boss and it's like a family uh, atmosphere where we're all doing the same thing. I am in the pool. I am doing the back end stuff, but I'm not just making you get in the pool and say, good luck. Um, I'm there with you. And so that's kind of a different thing of, you know, getting to experience everything. And it's not just, you know, my employees building us. It's everyone um, doing the job to take care. I love it. So you've had an incredibly fast start, I've heard, from your parent organization. So tell tell the audience a little bit about that. To what do you attribute this sort of like faster than typical start out of the gate? Sure. Uh, so when I started, my husband was working full time still. I was at home taking care of the babies. Uh, and so I was doing a lot of like the back end setup, which again was a lot. It's definitely possible. I'm not saying it's not. Um, but at the time, we kind of just had like a switch again. Like you said, hard times kind of came through and kind of pushed us in a different direction than we were expecting. Um, and my husband decided at that point, like he just wanted to dive in and just we were just going to take it on together. Um, and, you know, right like I was going to open in February and 
in February, he said, I'm, you know, leaving my job. We're going to do this together. And honestly, just having him kind of step in and take care of like a few of the other things that I, you know, it was just taking a lot out of me, um, really just kind of helped us just push it forward. He's been amazing. He loves being in the pool. He does a lot Mm -hmm. with everyone. And, um, yeah, it's just been a great experience for both of us, honestly. It's so great. So nothing will motivate you more, though, than having no income coming in from an outside source. <laughs> so there is that, Bethany. I think that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> like, oh, shit. I oh, shoot. On the cake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. This is do or die. So we're going to do yeah. it. We're not going to die. I yeah. love it. Well, so for the audience out there that's not aware of British Swim School. So British Swim School is a, is, is a small investment franchise that allows you to be, quote, home-based. You're you're not actually building a pool. You're yep. renting the pool at other facilities. So Bethany, share a little bit about how, you know, your skill set being in human resource was your husband in sales, like who's been leading the charge to go out and find the pools? Um, and, and how receptive has your community been to this business model? Yeah, of course. Uh, so with my husband being in sales, he has been like the go-getter. He, um, loves going out and, and, you know, he does the talking. He, he makes those deals. Um, I've done some of the pool scanning with him. Um, but he's really taken the rein. He just loves, he loves networking and marketing with people. And when we went out originally, um, with our business coach and, you know, he came out to help us, the amount of people that said, wow, like that's, they had never heard of it either. So, um, it was just amazing that there were so many people that wanted to help the community. Um, one of the pools that we had gone to, their sister um, part was actually working with Elsia in Boston and had known about us. And so just kind of like things like that where we're starting to, you know, grow the brand in Massachusetts, like really grow the brand is just so nice that um, – the opportunity is out there. You don't have to just be stuck. And that's what a lot of our um, families that have been signing up is that they have the ability to go to both of our pools. They're not stuck at the one pool. They can do makeups at another pool. If their schedule changes, there's a lot of opportunity versus just having, you know, a standalone pool. Um, so it's just been, yeah, it's been great. And it's definitely um, something that everyone has been very open to. It's awesome. I mean, every child should learn how to swim. This is more of a life skill than it is anything else, right? And I mean, even the tagline, I love the tagline of British Swim School. It's survival of the littlest. (laughs) It's so cute. All their marketing materials are super fantastic. They just warm your heart. You know right away what British Swim School does when you see anything that's branded the British Swim School. So let's go to the process that you worked through with my colleague, the amazing Joe White. And um, what were the characteristics? Because it's I'm sure it's not like as an HR professional and you turn to franchising. I mean, look, most people think franchising is Jersey Mike's, right? Or Chick-fil-A. Mm-hmm. Yep. So what were the characteristics that you were looking for in your ideal franchise match that led you to find the solution in British Swim School? Yeah, so honestly, um, just really, I mean, us having kids when we did and COVID hitting at that exact moment, um, finding a company where, you know, I was doing calls and trainings and I had both kids on my lap and no one cared. Um, everyone was so (laughs) welcoming. Um, the fact that it is very family orientated, uh, it was just amazing. Like we, you, you know who you want to work for and you know, when you meet them, if like you get that vibe and, not only, you know, when we did validation calls with other owners, um, you know, all over New England and, and, you know, down south, all that stuff, but also corporate. I mean, you can't really put, you know, a feeling on somebody. But when we met every single person in corporate, um, they're just amazing. You can't, you know, you want you're you're not just working for yourself. You're working with a brand and um, everyone was just so welcoming and so nice. And that's really honestly like what pushed us, obviously, you know, the business in general and being able to help our community and save lives. But again, you want to work for people that you like and that value what you value. And that really was amazing for us. 
Hey, y'all out there. You've heard the Daily Coach say when you invest in a franchise, you are not investing in a widget. You're investing in people. This is in business for yourself, but not by yourself. And that's exactly where she took that question. I was thinking she was going to say we wanted something home-based or we wanted a low investment or we wanted something where I could use my HR background. But she didn't. She bettered that. She said, "I we found people. That is the number one reason to say yes to a franchise business, that you find people that have a vision that inspires you, a culture where you feel you can thrive. I love that she pointed out that she could have her kids on her lap. That's like me with my barking dogs behind me. I should own a barking dog franchise, right? Or or better yet, a franchise that trains dogs not to bark. But that's beautiful because... Instead of finding a business where you can form your life to the business like you do in a job, what she's saying, guys, is she found a business that conformed to her life. And that's what makes us happy, right? That's the freedom that we really all want to find in business ownership. Is that true, Bethany? Yes, definitely. Absolutely. What what has been like, what are some of the parts of owning your business that surprisingly have made you... Um, have made you happy in your like in your business ownership journey? Oh, oh my gosh. Um, honestly, just like and, and and it might sound like so mediocre, but literally just being able to like bring my children to the doctor without having to take sick time or like worry about work getting done. Um, I know I can work on whatever I need to on off hours and, you know, no one's hounding me to do it. Um, so just being able to really just be do the simplest things in life with my children and take care of them and be here um, and really just set my schedule and know that um, we are also building all these amazing relationships with the families that are in our program. Um, we love each and every one of them. And so we're getting to know them and um, just kind of having that you know, it's a big family. Like we always say like, you know, welcome to, you know, our program and, you know, you're really joining a family here with everyone. And we've had a lot of families that like didn't even know that they lived close together and now they hang out outside of the school, the the program. So it's just so nice that we're kind of building that relationship with just so many different people and have that freedom to do what we want when we need to. Right. This is definitely a model where you have that flexibility. How many days a week are you running swim classes? And in how many pools are you running those classes, Bethany, right now? Yeah. So we run two pools right now. Um, We are uh, running five days a week. Um, We are open to potentially doing six days days a week, excuse me. But um, our Fridays are kind of like our catch-up work days. Um, And our Sunday is our family day. We decided that we just wanted to have Sundays for ourselves. Um, So we're operating, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday at one pool and Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday at another. So it just works out really well um, to, again, have that flexibility and still be able to help so many people. What a beautiful way to really build roots in your community and offer such a valuable service, right? Like oh, yeah. this is the most fun part of my job really as a franchise consultant is learning about these little these little niche businesses that nobody would ever think of. Like yeah. I could own a swim school, like number one, why would I do that? But then when you start adding up the characteristics, that low investment, a home-based model, nothing brick and mortar, no big lease, right? You're yep. working with amazing people. It's the company itself is very well and firmly established. The swimming lessons are all coming down from corporate. Like you may be um, teaching the kids to swim, but that's all through training, right? You're not creating the programming, correct, Bethany? Yeah. Yeah. And that was another thing that we loved with the business model is that it was literally just here you go. Here's your training. Here's everything that you need. And so, again, from, you know, my husband and I, we didn't have a swimming background. Again, we grew up in New England where you were thrown into the ocean and it was like sink or swim. Good luck. Um, Obviously, we don't do that now. But um, for us to not really have a swimming background to, you know, come into a business that that's the focus um, was just amazing that, you know, we didn't need that background. I think that's another thing, too is that you don't have to have a background in order to do it. You are literally given everything you needed or given everything you need um, to be successful. <laughs> Bethany and I were joking before we hit record that that comment about being thrown into the ocean and sinking or swimming. That's a total New England mentality family, right? <laughs> All hardcore. And that ocean that like at its highest point is 59 degrees. <laughs> Mom's like, she said, the head came up. You're good. <laughs> 
it's so fun. My boys are now teenagers, but I went through, you know, I took them to swim lessons. I, I was telling Bethany in, in college, in high school and college, I was actually a lifeguard at a summer camp in a pool and I was a swim instructor. It really is a gratifying job. And when I asked her, like, so who are you hiring, Bethany? Who, what kind of people do you hire to teach the swim, swim lessons? Yeah, so um, it's literally just anyone that, again, we have some people that have had like a swimming background where they swam in high school, um, so they love doing it. I have um, some college students that are, you know, again, kind of have a background in swimming and wanted to be able to kind of upkeep that background while they're in school. Um, And it's just kind of, it's a fun job. You get to come and you get to play with kids all day, and um, it's just like, it's an exciting thing, and it's not not that I'd say it's easy, but it's an an easy thing to do with another job, with school. Um, again, it gives you that flexibility of being able to still work and have fun. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, the employees that we have now, we finally, hopefully, now are pretty good staffed. <laughs> so hopefully, it stays that way. But yeah, we love everyone we have. Have you have you had any really like hard challenges since you started the business, or has it sort of just like been, you know, I'm sure there are lessons you've learned, but has it been relatively easy out of the gate? Um, I think everything has its own challenges and it just depicts how you are able to, you know, take on what it is. Um, I think for my husband that I can say like a thing that we're dealing with is um just like, you know, he getting to know like you're going to lose students, like it's going to happen and that you're going to find new students. It's always going to be the case. Things are going to change. Schedules will change. Um, So I think that's kind of just like we're going into a different season now because everyone was out for the holiday, you know, for school we had all summer. Um, And so I think that's kind of like the challenge now that we're dealing with of like how the school year is going to be and kind of working through that. Um, But that's just because it's our first time doing it. So I think there hasn't been anything like too crazy. I think it's just like working through the kinks of just, again, owning your own business and seeing what comes through. What are you most looking forward to? So as you project out to like the end of your first year, even getting into your second year, what is the vision for this life that you and your husband have as business owners? Yeah. So um, we are just excited. We purchased um, another territory when we signed up. So we have, you know, another opportunity to open in another area and what I think we're most excited about and what we've talked to a lot of the parents that have signed up with us and families is that um, there's not a lot of opportunity out there for swim lessons. It's just not – it's not readily available. We don't – you know, we live in New England, but there's not a million, you know, pools and out. you can't be it's outdoors. sink or die, baby. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I think – um, I mean. <laughs> yeah. I think we're – like our territories are more out west in Massachusetts and so – um, a lot of the, com- you know, the comments that we're getting is like, there's not a lot out here. And so we're super excited that you guys are coming in. And, you know, we finally, you know, we've been on a wait list for a year plus trying to get swim lessons for our kids. And, you know, with COVID and pools being closed and, you know, there's a lot of kids that are behind. There's obviously new kids that have been born. Um, so being able to just come in and, you know, again, not having just one place where we can conduct lessons, but multiple places. Um, I think we're just so excited to be able to broaden, um, such a large area and really just be, be able to help anyone we can. That's an amazing point. I mean, you really can't hit a saturation unless you run out of pools in your area, but there are pools in rec centers and high schools and hotels and, you know, other fitness, you know, athletic clubs. There's so, there's so many opportunities for you to turn. And the business model, I think, is to turn those sort of like a pool is often sort of a sunk cost in an athletic club and to turn that into a profit center, right? Because Mm -hmm. you, you, you pay them rent for the time that you're, you're using their pool, correct? Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's a win-win for everybody. It's such a fun business model. The reason I wanted to bring Bethany on and spotlight this, this little business, survival of the littlest, um, this little niche business is just for the fascination that there's an opportunity for you to have a business in an industry that you literally know nothing about. She wasn't even a competitive swimmer or anything like that, but it's a model that she saw fit into her lifestyle and with her HR background she's comfortable managing people and she's a mom so she gets the need for it right and and now she's seeing in her community 
all of the other moms out there that are looking for swimming lessons and looking for her, what she has to offer. It's such a fun story. Bethany, I really appreciate you being my special guest today on Kim Thank Daily you TV. so much. It was so much fun. I loved it. Um, yeah, it was a blast. I want you to go on and just live the life of your dreams. I mean, this is a business that literally has no financial limit. You can grow and grow and grow, and you can turn a little investment, what started out as a small investment in your future, into something truly magnificent. So if this conversation has inspired you and you would like to take the first step into learning more about British Swim School or any other franchise that may suit the characteristics that you're looking for, you know that I want to be your daily coach. Please follow the email on the screen below or contact me directly at inquire at kimdaily.tv. Until next time, my name is Kim Daly and I want to be your daily coach.